<laughs> Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made. We are a live play Dungeons and Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. You may know me from social media. I am Hyperion PDX. And uh, for the past year, I have been posting pictures of our Dwarven Forge setups for our sessions. Uh, during that time, I've had people ask me about uh, streaming our videos, or our sessions. This is our attempt to share our experiences and our wacky antics with you. Uh, our group has been together for a long period of time, 17 years in some cases, which I was reminded a couple weeks ago and makes me feel really old. Um, throughout that time, we've played uh, 3rd edition 3.5 and 4th edition Dungeons & Dragons. We've played Pathfinder, we've played several iterations of Star Wars and other role-playing games. For the most part, we are new to 5th edition, but we're ready to roll some dice and kick some butt. Uh, because our studio exists in the real world, we will make mistakes from time to time. Um, if you have any suggestions on rules or other things, please feel free to reach out to us on one of the numerous ways to contact our show, including uh, on our webpage at uh, mdmrpg.com. Uh, follow us on Facebook and uh, by searching Mistakes Being Made or mdmrpg. Uh, Follow us at Twitter at MBMRPG. Follow us on Instagram by, uh, by following at Mistakes Being Made RPG. Or send us an email to Mistakes Being Made RPG at gmail.com. Uh, we also have players miss sessions from time to time. Whenever that happens, we will do whatever it takes to move the narrative forward. Uh, lastly, we would like to thank the following people for their help and assistance with getting the show set up. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their awesome combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their awesome dungeon terrain. Thanks to Sirenscape for their amazing soundscapes. And lastly, thanks to uh, Satine Phoenix and Rudy Rutenberg for all of their inspiration and for all of their, uh, their assistance in getting our show set up. Now, let's meet the players and their characters. Let's start with you, Mike. Hi. <laughs> and you are playing? I am playing Cirque. He's a half-orc barbarian. He's a sailor that got shipwrecked, so he actually has the nickname Shipwreck. Yes. He was rescued by uh, Doug's character, Zenos Halfhill. High Hill. High it's, Hill? It's High Hill. It's High Hill. <laughs> it's High Hill. But you're short. <laughs> Hill. So this is Doug. <laughs> <laughs> he is playing... Xenos, high hill, um, ha halfling wizard. Yeah, that's new. And pirate. Aspirations of being a pirate captain. Okay. And next to you is Aaron. Hi. Uh, I'm playing Visago Free, who is a uh, you know a pirate of sorts and a master of words and actions and uh, you know you don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> On the other side of the table, we have Adam. <coughs> yeah, I I'm playing Corbin. Uh, a drunk, and uh, a pirate, and maybe he dabbles in some magical things here and there of the dark kind. And your class is? I mean, I guess it'd be a warlock. Okay. okay. If you really wanted to nail it down. Yeah, which we kind <laughs> of do for the things. first yeah. session. Yeah. Uh, and Frank? I am paying Ren, the Fernbolg druid, um, and uh, his clan was wiped out. So he is out and about, uh, and he believes in nature and survival of the fittest. So my healing spells are for me. I don't know if you have to pay healing spells. Those are precious colors. That will I like the fact that the druid, who has three buckets of hit points, <laughs> is not healing anyone else tonight. That's, that's a great... Survival of the fittest. Okay. You know him as anything other than like a cat. <laughs> yeah. You just have to beat him in arm wrestling to get him to cast a heal. Lastly, yeah. we have Howard. Hi, I'm Howard, and I'm playing a half elven cleric named Sarsorel, and he was on the same boat as his half brother, Shipwreck, when we got shipwrecked. But I thought I was the only one that survived, and I got taken in by the uh, the clerics at the Temple of Umberley, and uh, I survived. The shipwreck, so clearly I'm the chosen of Umberley. Okay. Clearly. 
Yeah. So we are playing in Forgotten Realms. Um, the area that we're going to be playing is, is a little bit east of the Sword Coast. It is the Sea of Fallen Stars, which um, has an island chain that is known as the Pirate Isles because second edition was super literal when it came to naming places. Um, the, the, uh, our story begins on the island of Paldir, uh, a community in the sea, uh, a community island in the Sea of Falling Stars. Paldir is known for two things uh, throughout the region. It is known for being the home of the Rumbletide Dwarves, which is a clan of dwarves who mines precious materials. And it is also known for the Festival of Surf, which is an, an annual um, festival to Umberly at uh, the beginning of fall to appease her and offer um, uh, gifts to her in hopes for um, for uh, mild storms and good tides throughout the fall and winter. Uh, so we begin our uh, adventure, or our campaign, I suppose, not adventure, um, at the festival, festival, or before the festival of surfs in preparations for it. Um, and so before we start, um, there, is, there is a question about where you guys begin. Because you guys have lived on Paldir um, for some time, one of the things that um, that is done in preparation is there is a sea sage, uh, sea sage Lan uh, Yager, who is um, not native to Paldir and needs to be picked up. Um, there is a ship that is close by the Tempest Temp Temptress, who has gone to uh, pick. Sea Sage Lanyager up, and there are several members of its crew who could either have gone with the ship or stayed back in Paldir. So, um, Doug, Mike, and Aaron, are do you start today's session on Paldir or on the Tempest Temptress? Um, I wasn't on the Tempest yet. Okay. So I don't think I would be on the Tempest. Okay. I, I would be. Because I'm with these You would two. be. Okay. I would be. Okay. So you two are on the ship, and um, you are headed back. You've already picked up the okay. Sea Sage. You are about a day or two out, and this is not the right soundscape for this. <laughs> so okay. give me a second. Okay. Really bringing me out of. I know, right? Of it's so. Blacksmith scaring. <laughs> Frank, do you need more attention? <laughs> Is everything good? All right. <laughs> oh. Is oh, everyone paying that's, attention? Your, your hands to me. went under the table. I just got a little. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not good audio. <sighs> so, um, so uh, Xenos and Shipwreck, yeah. you are on the Temptress. Um, the uh, the captain, Captain Jib, is not with you. He chose to stay back on um, Paldir. That's okay. He left me captain, right? I was just saying, uh, he actually left the first mate <laughs> in charge. That's probably smart. He left the captain. Uh, first mate yes, is... But that's next in line of being captain. ...is right. Mr. Remington. And he... Uh, you would know, uh, or Xenos would know, that you haven't gotten along with... Uh, no. Mr. Remington in the past. He is a half work, um, and he commands the crew fairly militarily. Um, he is a military man, uh -huh. so or half work. Um, man, those goals. Um, <laughs> and um, so you wake up and yeah. you have been given deck duty, and deck duty is swabbing the deck. That. Is not my skill set. <laughs> <laughs> so, I deliver things to the captain, send messages to people that need messages. Okay. That's what I do. Check my resume. And how I'm do not... you handle how do you handle this duty? <laughs> um, well, um, do I have my familiar? You do have your familiar. All right. In your the ship in your extra, All right, extra dimensional so, uh, space. I reach into my coat pocket, okay. and I pull out an octopus, Okay. I give it the br the mop, and I say, go. Now, this can only do this for half an hour, remember? Yeah, but it's a small deck. 
Okay. Okay, so it starts <laughs> scrubbing away. It's a small familiar. Yep. Um, it knows to start making its way towards you at like five minutes still, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we're in the water, so it can always just jump overboard, too. Yeah, but that's going to go far away from you. I don't think it can swim as fast as the ship can sail. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, what do you do? Um, well, if it's, it's taking it's care doing of your that, work. Um, the crew is task. mostly used to this by now, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm, well, I, um, the, we picked up the sage, right? You, you're, yeah, you're a day out from All coming right, back. so I'll go talk to, check on the sage and make sure the sage is comfortable and needs anything. And Okay. Um, oh. Okay, there is a guest quarters below that he is, um, he is currently in. Um, okay. He is, as you would expect an elderly man, okay. uh, being a sea sage. Okay. Um, he is, he wears um, rough spun robes um, okay. and he, he seems to be in good spirits. Um, what do you say? I um, just ask him if he's enjoying the trip and if there's anything I can, t can bring him from the galley and he says uh, a, a bit of fish would be nice. A bit of also, fish, if, you, if you have some, some bread, doesn't have to be fresh, obviously. We're on right. a ship. Okay, so um, I will um, go take care of that and and just tell them if they need anything else, be sure and you know, ask for me. Um, I speak for the the real captain of the ship and uh, depart. Okay, all right. Um, Mike, what is uh, so? Cirque has been given because. Um, your, I would imagine that your daily, your normal routine on the ship is is in the rigging, so he has been given the the rigging to do. Okay. Uh, so what do you do? Just go where they order us or order me to go. Okay. So you just start doing rigging work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why don't you make me uh, an athletics uh, check? We'll see how your day goes. Oh, yeah. So great already. Oh, okay. Eight okay. already being so, made. <laughs> it is a rough day for you. There's several lines that break. Uh, you did not get below a five, so um, you are not, you're not Maine. in danger. Uh, but yeah, you don't get a whole lot accomplished, and it is noticeable. So, it's um, about average for a <laughs> So about halfway through the day, um, and another crew member comes up and is, he says, uh, Mr. Remington told me to help you out. Are you, did you drink last night? Well, yeah. <laughs> and so he starts... Of course I... He starts going what, through the what motion. Else, what do you do in town? Well, we weren't in town last night. We were on the <laughs> ship. That's how much he drank. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we're... How but, long? It, so as really? you as you as you're talking, it fades to black. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. where's the lamp oil? <laughs> so Aaron, uh, you are on Paldir. Yes. Um, you are woken um, by. Where would you be staying on Paldir? Do you have your own house, or are you staying at an inn? I'm probably staying at an inn. Okay. House seems too much like a commitment for Vizago. <laughs> okay. How it seems like you would have to stay there. Yeah, it's true. Extended a period of time. Yeah. And if you left, like you couldn't take it. <laughs> so um, I am just scrolling through here. So uh, the sea, sea witch's uh, respite is the uh, tavern slash inn in town, um, and it is run uh, by the Rumble Tide Dwarves. Um, uh, a dwarf wakes you. Why does this always happen? <laughs> by roughly knocking at your door. Uh, you of all people know that you shouldn't be knocking at your door. <laughs> afternoon. Whatever. He says the bill is due. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that! Yeah. Oh, so it's interesting. I paid that last night. Really? Yep. I paid it to, uh, you know, the one with the beard. You paid it to, to the one with the beard? Yeah. But we all have beards. Yeah, you know the one with the beard. Okay. He had a bit. He was a bit gruff. What was it? Which did you get a name? Uh, he was shorter in stature. Okay, he wide. was shorter than you and mm -hmm. wide. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he had a beard, uh, but he didn't tell me his name. Was it Craig? Yeah. Craig, Craig. Craig doesn't work here. I need the money. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> That's weird. Uh, so I was robbed of my money by uh, Craig. Could you by, in? by you were robbed by Craig? Yeah, because he okay. you know, he was supposed to give you that the is money. that is a problem. We're gonna yeah. have to. I need you to get ready, get dressed. Grab your stuff. I, bring it are with you. you. Comfortable right now? No, no. We're gonna address this with Craig. We're gonna address this with Craig. Right with now? Craig. Well, awesome. Um, I'm a little shy. Do you mind closing the door real quick, and then I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll I'll, I'll come out, and we'll go get Craig. Okay. All right. Thank you. Does okay. he close the door? He closes. The door. I immediately start looking for a window. Okay. There's a window <laughs> in the room. Uh, I'll get all my stuff, and then I'm gonna look at the window. Make a perception check before right. you look at the window. Thirteen. Okay, so you hear he heavy footsteps walking away, and then you hear some muffled talking, yeah. and you you hear some muffled talking because you rolled the thirteen. Mm. Um, and are you two staying separately? Because you you guys are together, we're right? Together, not, we're not, not together, we're, together. We're not, no, no. But well, there was that one time. <laughs> Do they know that we Craig is the leader? I don't think so. So normally, <laughs> I don't. I don't typically tend to stay in in, in buildings. Okay. I just want to make sure <laughs> that, that normally you're not where in, I sleep. I, I like room. what I like is that when I go to stay at inns, he's like, "All right, you go. I'm gonna go take up the horse space." I'm like, sure, whatever, because it's way cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> so when you go, so you that's what you hear at the the door, and then when you go over <laughs> as you're gathering stuff <laughs> to. Uh, to make your quick escape, yes. uh, you s look out the window and you see several dwarves standing <laughs> out in front of your window. <laughs> and I'm just going to like, <laughs> close the window, and as they turn around, I just like looks around and goes, I hate dwarves. <laughs> Always with the, right. the that money. Is, that, is a, that is a thing that's true. <laughs> <clears throat> and so I'm going to put myself together and be like, all right, you got this, no problem. It's uh, like, uh, it's just another d quarter pass. Quarter, quarter. And I'll open the door and I'll be like, hi, what's going on? Uh, is this Craig? No, no, we'll take you to Craig. But where's the tall one? The, the tall one? The one you travel with. Which tall one? He describes Ren. Oh, does he have a beard? I don't know. Does Ren have a beard? No. Mm -mm. Uh, is he shorter in stature? I Do we described him as the tall one. Lighter? How tall is Ren? Just because because really Ren seven is seven five. seven five. Yeah, I <laughs> thought <laughs> seven, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> the one that towers above everyone in town. The one that we can see when the town is gathered. <laughs> oh, that one. Well, you're supposed to get him because he accompanies me everywhere. Well, come come with us, and we will find your friend Ren, oh, and then you two good. will go meet Craig. Awesome, that sounds great. Yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to him. Okay, so um, Frank, where would you? I where would have would left be and probably gone if if they don't have like a park or something mm -hmm. where I could climb a tree and sleep. Then I would have gone to the edge of town. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have okay. pretty much gone to the edge of town. I need to sleep in or near a tree. Just well, there's cool. so there's farmland around the town. So yeah, you, there's it's yeah. not it's not a big town. Just like that. Uh, so they they. When you typically, what's your guys' routine? Because you guys are so typically friends. we yeah. meet, yeah, we meet like in the morning. Yeah. at some point, he does whatever he does. I hang around with him, okay. and then every opportunity I get, I tend you're, to. So you're kind of like the exclamation mark. As you're point. walking up to uh, the Sea Witch respite, um, you see dwarves escorting him out with his stuff, all of his stuff. And they say, oh, there he is. Come here, Ren. Hey, Ren. Uh, do you remember when we gave that dwarf money the other day? <laughs> apparently, he isn't the innkeeper here. It's apparently this guy, whose name is... His name is not Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably why I couldn't pay the rent. I mean, really, you could fault them for not making sure I knew who was supposed to get rent. That's Ren. true. It, it, yeah. So they say, you're not in any trouble. We're going to take you to Crag and get this sorted out. Every time they say we're not in trouble, we're usually in trouble. I know. I've been traveling with you for a long time. So <laughs> about this time, <laughs> your character wakes up. Corvin wakes up. And is Corvin in the gutter outside of the Sea Witch respite? <laughs> Do they usually roll people outside? Well, when they've passed out on the tables, yes. They outside typically... in the gutter? <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, hey... 
take this one with you, the drunk one. Take him. What? <laughs> I no. Pick, I pick him up. <laughs> Whoa. No. <laughs> hey. I'm real. Yeah. You think you'd remember I've done this? No, I know, times. I know, I know. So you know about the next part. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 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 and as as he's throwing up, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna look to the dwarf that's uncomfortably close to the vomit and go, "That's not gonna add to the." <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not paying extra for that. <laughs> if anything, have... can we get a refund on the food last night? <laughs> no, it's no. not food. No, <laughs> I sit you standing up. So a trio of dwarves load you three in the cart, and they are making their way out of town. Wait. Do you guys give any kind of... Oh, wait, wait. I need to get breakfast before we... Yeah. You can't just wake a man up out of his bed. So he, one of the dwarves <laughs> opens know, right? his pack and hands you a slice of bread and a small sliver of meat and some cheese and says, here you go. Right. I said breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and they... Hey yeah, and then off you go, and then I it drank in like and then it fades to hours. <laughs> uh, Howard, um, you are staying at the temple, correct? Yeah. Okay. In my room. Okay. Um, so you're woken up by Abernathy, hey. uh, who is the head cleric of Umberley. Right. Yep. And she says it's a big day. I know. We got I'm so pre excited. Preparations to make. Um, I'm going to need you to yes. go down to. Oh, I thought that was the end of it the square and um, start preparing the square for the preparation. Start preparing the square. Yeah. yeah, you got it. So she Are all of the supplies there and I just need to yeah. put them yeah. in? Okay, you yeah. got it. I got this. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to do it. It's going to be the best Good one ever. Job. Go ahead and take some of the acolytes with you and all right. direct things. Come on, acolytes. All right. I'm going to go do this right. <laughs> you got the candy, you got the gold, you got the silver, you got the gems, you got, you got the candy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so you three, back to you three. Uh, sorry, Doug, you, uh, the, you're you're dealing with the sea sage, so <laughs> you're having a bad day. <laughs> you're having a bad day. I'm just having I a mean, day. <laughs> arguably, we could be saying we are having a day. We're leaving the city. Every time we're, we're, we're together, you owe somebody money. Well, and you owe me money, so I mean, really, it's kind of like you owe everyone money. So you want me Did to he really just pay your debt by just paying off your? Grab you by the How much is this tab? Case? <laughs> well, he owes for for two weeks of <laughs> staying at the respite. <laughs> Whoops. Have we been here for two weeks? <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, alcohol is great at making time pass. It's true. You time travel. You have probably robbed a lot of people of their money through gambling. Have you gambled <laughs> with this guy? <laughs> no, we, we know not to do that. It was that. plan B. I was going to offer them a friendly game of chance. Uh, don't do that. So about a quarter mile outside don't of town, <laughs> you come along a um, another wagon. And this one is also guarded by dwarves. And these dwarves are like in full uh, royal battle dress, basically. Um, and when you approach, um, inside the carriage, uh, a, a dwarf steps out. The most flamboyantly dressed dwarf. Like, if you're... Let's talk about Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. <laughs> he looks like he stepped out of it. <laughs> Um, he's got fuses in his curly beard, uh, he's got a pirate hat on, and he's like, who are these three? And the dwarves say, uh, they said that they paid you, and he's like, wait, at, at this point, I put my hand on the dwarf's shoulder, <laughs> I'm like, excuse me? Oh, well, this one, that? the, the evil one, he said, I have these no, is yeah, that's a horns and the... Morality oh, compass. Smell kind of, of thing, brimstone. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't. I mean, he's <laughs> totally on the app. Have you ever eaten dwarven food for two weeks? I eat dwarven food every day. And some other things. So um, they tell Craig that you you uh, 
paid him money, and he's like, "That's funny. I haven't been to town in some time." Um, oh, that's that's Craig. No, it wasn't that one. It was Craig. the other one. Oh wait, did you say Craig? Yeah. Well, that's Craig. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> the dwarf points at him, and that he says, "That's Craig Stormcleaver." The the uh, king of the Rumble Tide Dwarfs. You should have. There's this dwarf said? named Craig. Yeah. We don't have a dwarf named Craig. Well, why did you tell him that it was Craig? <laughs> Craig is the one I paid my rent to. He introduced himself he, as such. So, so Craig time. speaks up and he's like, Why do I ever leave? The we, we can discuss this. There is a way that we can uh, accept your payment. Oh. Um, nice. But it's going to require. Some trickery on your part. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't know anything about trickery, but sure, what do you need? <laughs> so he says the wagon behind us has um, casks of Rumble Tide Ale that we're bringing to town. What? And it's a surprise yeah, no. for Squall. Huh? So we need you to sneak it past Kurt Ray and his guards. Oh, we can do that. Uh, can clarification. Do does all of it need to be unopened? He says, uh, you can have a small bit. That's good. But it's for the celebration. You had me and a if, small bit. <laughs> and if Umberly is upset, she's going to be upset with you. That was great. <laughs> Listen, I can totally do this. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. But I'm going to need a few things. One, another week's stay at the inn. Okay. And two, some fine drinking for my friend's night. That's uh, what's... That's, okay. That's the little bit part. I know <laughs> specifically it was the little bit part I'm on, because um, a little bit to, say, a novice drinker. Mm-hmm would be acceptable. However... I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend here are experienced drinkers. He, he says, hold on. And he pulls you around. the. So he's got his royal carriage <laughs> sitting there. Um, uh, pulled by rams or something, because dwarves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, behind the carriage, which is basically like a tank at this point. It's armored. And uh, um, there is... A uh, two carts uh, with tarps over them. Uh, they're taller than him, um, with barrels stacked in the carts. Oh. And he says, "I don't think you can. If if, if you and your friends what you can get this into town, you can have a barrel. That'll do. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> okay." So he says, I don't want to hear any more about this, and you need to meet with Schimbeckler because she knows where to and where do store. <coughs> Are you new? I mean... <laughs> the tower, the giant tower. The, the new part isn't quite there. It's just the last couple weeks are... Hazy? Fuzzy. Well, I remember... It's like a town wizard. I remember that this person owes me a gold, okay. and this other person owes me a gold. Sam Buckler does not owe you a gold. Owe me a gold but sure? she does she does live in the tower. Um, the only tower. So Let's get meet with now. her. Probably we shouldn't take the the wagons of booze in before you meet with her. Okay. Where are we storing the wagons of booze before we meet with her then? Um, we can hold them here if you'd like, or... That'd be good, because I don't have a place for a wagon of booze. Okay. Unfortunately, I recently just lost my room until I finished this little job I'm working it's on. It's true. It's true. Okay. <laughs> so that, I'll leave you guys there. Um, Doug. Yes. Um, do you bring the, the bread? Of and course the... I do. Okay. And I try to uh, enter into conversation with the, yeah. the sage. Yeah. Um, what, what topic of conversation would you like to have? Uh, well, I mean... He's... Is he's a, a sage. So. He's a wizard of some renown. Well, then Arcana would be the topic of conversation. Okay. Because I'm learning a few tricks here and there. All right. I'm and um, how are you directing the conversation? Because he's happy to talk with you. He, he has a full day of travel in front well, of you. Well, um, I guess um, 
if he's got any particular favorite tricks or uh, you know, ways of doing things. I, I, I mentioned I found a, I found a book. I've been you know okay. kind of learning a little bit here and there. Do you show him the book? No, I'm not that trusting. Okay. He might recognize the book. He might. I, 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 Where did the book come from? I found it. That's fair. He's no pirate ship. Throw some air quotes around that for me. <laughs> found it. Um, okay. I so he talks with you about, um, or he talks with you about spells and such. Um, why don't you make uh, a Arcana check for me? This will determine how 14. well. You, Fourteen. So you're following the conversation very well. Okay. Um, some of the stuff is going a bit over your head, but you get that he's very experienced. Um, and um, he says, you know, we can talk about this up on deck if you'd like. I can show you a few things. That would be awesome. Okay. I mean, if you've got any like favorite, you know, eat simple spells that you could teach me, I would, I would love to learn. Okay. So he, he goes up on deck. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he casts some pyrotechnics off and, and cool. does some dazzling. Um, why don't you make me a persuasion check? Persuasion. Charisma <clears throat> persuasion. Okay. That's a five. Okay, so through the conversation, mm -hmm. um, you get the sense that he, um, while he is enjoying himself, you have not impressed him very much <laughs> with your knowledge. <laughs> and so he is not going to be sharing any spells with you today. Which finger? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you picked the wrong finger, unfortunately. All right. Well, I'll keep trying. Okay. So you get to the square. Perfect. All right. All right. So this is the square. This is the square. All right. Um, there are poles. There are um, a big, massive uh, canvas that you know is going to be... Because you've seen this yeah. several years in a row. Yeah. You know that they're, they put up a tent uh, because Umberly is not always the most consistent goddess in the right. world, and she might bring storms. She might make it rain. Um, so you, <laughs> you, see, uh, you see the square. It is in the process of being prepped. Okay. Um, you can... You know, go bark some orders of people that don't look as important as I am. Sure, absolutely. So... Um, you straighten that thing, and you put the... Put the, put, the yeah, take that, and... But the main right sail and the jib and stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nautical term, nautical term. So you you get people going. Um, why don't you make a persuasion check for me? Perfect. This little persuasion. That's a seven. Oh, so <laughs> they don't really snap to when you're going uh, when you're giving them orders, but they start working because they know that they need to get this done. Um, there is a little boy there that is super excited for the Festival of the Surf. Excellent. Uh, you know him as Reggie. Hey, Reggie. Hey. How's it going? It's going fantastic. You Festival remember, of the Surf is today. You remember that the candy isn't for you, right? What? Did you bring some candy? No, you were supposed to bring the candy. Yeah, I'm bringing the candy for the queen. Oh. The queen of the sea. Oh, okay. This is all for her. Can I have some candy? Reggie, you're going to have to take that up with Umberly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You do not want to talk to Umberly about candy. <laughs> so Reggie's looks a little disappointed and he um he wanders off. Um and then you hear a gasp uh, when he gets to right about where Frank's dice are. Um There's these giant green dice. <laughs> um and uh yeah, you definitely like, something is the matter. Okay. I dash over there. Okay. So you notice a uh, white-haired man who is currently uh, surrounded by Town's Guard. Do and, I recognize the Oh, yeah. Man? Yeah, you definitely do. Uh, so his, his name is Bafo. He's the coward. The coward of the town. Yeah. And, and Kurt Ray and his guard are kind of just basically making his life miserable. Um, and they're pushing him and like, what are you doing here? You know, you're not supposed to be here, mm -hmm. Bafo. And, um, yeah, so you've got your duties, but what are you going to do? Are you going to, you going to step in or are you going to go well, back I to care your... about the town coward? Sure. No, I, I got to make sure that right. this, 
ceremony is the best one ever. Okay. All right. Because I'm in charge right now. Make me uh, one more persuasion check. Or you can use intimidate if you prefer. Uh, I'll stick with it. persuasion. Okay. I'm going to re-roll that. You're going to re-roll that? Well, because uh, it was... Because it was perfect. cocked? Yeah. Okay. That's an 18. Okay. So, yeah. So through the rest of the day, you guys... With authority. With authority. All right. Um, okay. So, back to you three. Um, what are you guys doing? I guess we're going to go meet with this person about the boost that we're getting. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, this is why we listened to my plans, because when it started as a day of me losing my room, ended with us getting a cask of ale and another week stay at the room. There's one Did small... you look at those casks? Huh? Did you look at them? I mean, yeah, I mean a little bit. I mean, the details. They look good. Yeah. yeah. They look good. They look, they look solid. They look... Can I see them from where we're at? Yeah. Can I take a look at them? How close sure. can I take them? The dwarves are there, but they, I mean, they think that you're assisting them, so they're, they're fine. Okay. They, I just want to, like, poke through them a little bit. Go for it. Is it investigation? Sure, investigation will work. No? How's it 24? 24 is pretty good. Uh, what are you looking for, specifically? I just want to see... So, I just want to make sure that they're all casks of ale. And that there's nothing Not like, like a dynamite cask. I mean, the guy has fuses in his fucking beard. <laughs> he, does. he does. No, I, I also want to make sure there, there's not, like, we're not facilitating contraband. Um, no. So you would know that the Rumble Tide, uh, the Sea Witch's Respite, serves Rumble Tide I ale. know that this is the local ale. I mean, I want to make specifically sure that they're not stuffing some of the casks with stuff, and we're the sure. ones... You guys go do this and you'll be fine. <laughs> I'd like to remove the wink and the... the Why are you okay. going to be chaotic evil? You always, <laughs> you're always assuming everybody is out to get you. Just chaotic evil. Um, so <laughs> as far as you can tell with your 24 investigation, uh, it appears that they're all filled with a liquid. Okay. Um, and if you're thumping on barrels, they appear to be full. All, cool. all casks. Awesome. I, just, I give them a once over. They have a royal seal branded into the casks as well, so that you know oh, that they're nice. royal tide or rumble tide. Yeah. Probably all outpost fire. Yeah. Yes. I, so I, we're talking to the yeah the mage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean Beckler. She come around the wagon. I'm just gonna be like, see, I told you, don't worry about the details. If you fuck up enough, you land somewhere okay. <laughs> and that is why we are always. Life lessons. Uh, I life. see it as a uh, thing of bad things that lead to good things. Fortunately, nature always balances. It's true. I woke up in a gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do it. Has anybody got water? Yeah, they have water. They'll give you water. Don't say nature. <laughs> and like try to wash most of the gutter. They're like, off. good, he smells. Yeah. No, right? That's why I hang out with the brimstone kid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go. I kind of like that. I'm the one who doesn't stink. So like the cart that brought you here <laughs> can <laughs> can take you back to town. Exactly. Uh, so they take you back to town. Um, you know Shembeckler's tower because it is the tower. Yeah. Um, what do you guys do? Yeah. Maybe that might be her. That might be her. That might be her. <laughs> well, I think we leave the cart outside. We leave. Yeah. We left the, we're gonna leave the cart. With we them. left the gonna... ale cart with the dwarves yeah. just outside of town. And this is the cart that brought us back to town. Yes. And we're so... supposed to go talk to her before okay. we go back. Knock on the door. Yeah. I'm. The oh. door. The door opens without uh, you're... anyone coming to it. So, oh. you're. You hear a, a disembodied voice yeah. that says, a little bit more "Come on in." Uh, does anyone else find that a little creepy? No, I hear voices all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you walk in. Um, <laughs> Shembakush <laughs> Tower <laughs> is filled with books. It's got bookshelves all around. Uh, every place that is not a staircase is bookshelves, um, and there's a staircase that leads up to the second level. There's also, um, in, on the ground level, there's also a locked door that leads down. Okay. Um, 
So the disembodied voice says Schumbuckler is up on the second story. Can I take a slow route to the stairs and kind sure. of scan some of the books? Sure, absolutely. See if I notice anything? <clears throat> sure. Um, arcana or investigation? Uh, I will let you use either one. I'll go arcana. I'll okay. use the investigation. Okay. Well, there's the op other side of that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. For things related to nature. Okay. Uh, ten, ten. They're all made of trees. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> right. Okay. Some of those used Poor to be trees. wood. Poor trees. Um. <laughs> so, so yeah, she's got a vast collection of um of books, and they're on many different topics, um, but they mostly have uh, to do with. Um, Planes and uh, a certain, you know, arcana. She's very clearly um, a wizard. Um, and so she has just a collection of uh, books on different subjects <laughs> on your point in the arcane. I start to sober up. Okay. I start to remember why I agreed to come here with these guys. Yeah. Right. This always comes in around. Midday or so. Um, <laughs> Midday? Um, it won't last long. I, I start, <laughs> why I start to recall that this library is here. Uh huh. And that, that was part of. Okay. So. All right. So uh, as they, we all head up. Okay. As they are searching for books, I'm going to start heading up the stairs. Okay. And as I do, I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to grab whatever book I find and just start casually reading it as we go okay, up the stairs. Fine. What is it about? It just says I prepared explosive runes today. Um, <laughs> it is a favorite book. It is a book on the blood war. The blood war? Yeah, demons and devils war. For those who, are... as so I get and I get right to the point where they mention the blood war and I close it and I go. Everyone is out to get me today. <laughs> Put the book down and I just keep going. Okay. Up. So uh, upstairs, Shambuckler is seated at a desk looking through books. She's, ve uh, as always, dressed very nicely. She has a uh, emerald green uh, dress on. Uh, she has a, um, a red scarf wrapped around her head. Um, you know um, from just living in Paldir for as long as you have that that's typical. She doesn't generally have her hair exposed for any reason. Uh, she also has... Um, she's got a high collar on, but you can see tattoos down the back of her neck. Um, and uh, she says, what can I help you with? I believe we're doing a delivery for you, and I'll do a slight. Uh, oh, you want to innuendo it? Okay. Yeah. Um, she's like, oh, mm -hmm. Craig? Yes. Okay. Not Craig. <laughs> Not Craig. Craig's a different guy. Different dwarf. Who owes me money. <laughs> says, okay, great. Craig found somebody to deliver his ale. That's yeah, awesome. That's great. I'm a highly skilled practitioner of delivering things. Oh, okay. good. Good, yeah. good. This Where will work like out it? well. Uh, she says there's a warehouse in, um, in down by the docks that I would like you to take it and, and hide it. And it is very important that you do not bring attention to yourselves because this is a surprise for the festival absolutely and he's going to be looking at another random thing he just picked up and he's got like the half shaven head the ram horns he's covered in like pirate tattoos and leather armor he's like don't worry i'm very inconspicuous okay are you training in arcana no are you <laughs> are you're obviously training in arcana you want to make me an arcana check? sure please see my previous roll of seven okay <laughs> you you notice that there are a lot of arcane things in the room. <laughs> uh, she says, well, that's fantastic. Um, you guys can see yourselves out. Same way you came in, the Unseen Servant will open the door for you. Oh, the Unseen Servant. What's his name? Philip. Philip. I like Philip. Philip's always very nice and definitely not going to slam the door behind me like everyone else has. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't leave. Blast. Um, All right. Anything you want to do before we go? Well, I'll take a step forward. Okay. Um, Was there something else? After we do this delivery, I noticed your extensive collection downstairs. Uh, is your library 
solely for private use? Uh, no, it's open. Um, would it be all right if I came back? Absolutely. To improve some of it? Um, can you do me a favor, though? Yeah. Can you wash your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I can. <laughs> will you? If that will get me access to the library. Okay. Then, certainly. Okay. For now. She cast presses digitation on you. Oh. And you smell so much better. <laughs> Sadly, much that won't last. Itch. Sadly, that won't last. Shall we? Just until tonight. So off you go. All right, bright man. How are we going to get the wagons into the town and not draw the doors? Oh, we're going to move the wagons through the door, and uh, we'll see how it goes. That that's that's it's worked out so <laughs> far. <laughs> I've pretty much been going with no plan since I got woken by a rude dwarf today, and so far it's only not Craig. It was us. not rude. Craig seemed really nice <laughs> when we were in the <laughs> wagon. He gave me some food. <laughs> Wait, was know. that Craig? Because the was money. Oh. See, there is no Craig. You're a liar. You're a cheat. How do you lie seem to forget that every time? Because you're lying every time. time. You're lying to yourself. But I'm so, so good. So, on our way through town, do I see the little kid? Mm hmm You see Reggie? I walk up to Reggie. Hey! You been staying out of trouble? No. Let's remember. <laughs> remember, survival of the fittest. I know Reggie. He followed, me out. he followed me out of town, and while, he, like, I was out, and he was out, and I heard him scream, and uh -huh. I went, and he was being chased by something. Okay. And I watched. You watched. <laughs> Our heroes, ladies and gentlemen, watched. watched. I did not help. And then, um, so after he managed to survive, <laughs> I... Dusted him off and said, next time, make sure that you're better prepared. Okay. So that's how I know the kid. I say, any good news? What do you know good? Uh, he like, says, well, huh? you're a jerk. <laughs> I truly am. I truly am. He says, well, I saw Bafo getting uh, harassed by the guards this morning. For what? I don't know. Whatever. I mean, they hate him. It's because he's so polite. Yeah. He's an easy mark, so they they don't like him much. Hmm. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean oh. to disappoint you, sir. No. Oh. Well, if you see anything else going, let me know. Okay. Keep me you got it. Okay. Thanks, Slenderman. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> 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 that, Well, he follows like children. Seven around. five. <laughs> the we kid followed me. <laughs> yeah, the big that's how it starts. Too. In this <laughs> We're gonna need to get you a three-piece suit now. Just like all decked out and shave your head. So I head out. All right. Awesome. So late in the day, the ship arrives. <laughs> okay. Um, and the town is in full preparation for um, the festival of surf. Um, and when you um, when you get to um, Squall, um, there's uh, the ship disembarks and basically empties out because they're bas they're all going to be at the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, anything specific that you guys want to do? Go get drunk. Go get drunk. Okay. <clears throat> That's what we do in town. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. Well, check in on the captain. Okay. Captain is, he's doing well. He's got his, you know, he's got a small cottage in town that okay. he's at. Um, he, his <clears throat> cottage overlooks the, um, the grounds for the competitions that'll happen okay. later. Um, and he says, are you going to, are you going to compete this year? Am I gonna compete? This year? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, have you seen him? He's Debbie. <laughs> yeah. I put my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you put your actually on his shoulder. Yeah. Nice. He's the big. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I was gonna You're watch welcome. watch you compete this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably good. It's so probably you would know, having spent some time here, yeah. um, that there are a number of competitions that happen uh, at the Festival of Surf. Uh, boat races are, are common. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a baking challenge. Um, <laughs> there is a marksman contest. Um, and then typically the festival ends with a feast of fish and alcohol. Yeah, those don't really fit in my skill set. Really? No? Yeah. Okay. Don't, you, don't you remember, Cap? Yeah, I well, do certain things. Baking, I always burn the stuff. Um, okay. Sailing, 
wasn't really the thing that I did on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's true. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I can uh, I can burn a, a ship down pretty good. I've been practicing let's my magic not, spells. Let's not do that. No, we need but, that for fishing. Yeah, it's true, and for pirating. And you not know, so I, much with the pirating we, these days. I'm a little bit concerned that the first mate's not qualified to be captain of the ship. So he's the well, you know what he's proficient captain. in. Yeah, I know, but he's still he's not Same a qualified thing. captain. He okay. may know how to run the ship, but he's not good at leading the crew. Listen, we can talk about that some other time. It's it's. Just, I am the captain of the ship. Well, you, your absence was missed on this last oh, okay. voyage, sir. Okay. How do you guys get the ale into town? So it's <laughs> the wagons are already please. covered up on tarps. The wagons have tarps, but they're I mean, they're, they're wagons whales. full of casks right. of yeah. ale. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. are the patrols? The people who we are attempting to avoid in bringing this well, through. we're kind of trying to avoid everybody. How how busy is the... Um, the I mean, most people are preparing for the festival. So on a typical day, you would have no chance of getting in. But oh, with, with, the, <laughs> with the preparations... <laughs> Sorry, Vince McMahon stepped yeah. in. <laughs> um, you didn't even do the headlong. <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, so you do have a, a shot at getting this in today. Um, basically, the streets that are not directly being set up for um, for the festival are fairly empty. Um, and the town watch, you know, they patrol, but um, if, if you time it, Right, you're going to be able to miss them. So. so, I do have a plan. You find out what route you want, and I'm very good at making sure that they're somewhere else. Okay. All right. <laughs> we can do that. So let's scout out what route we want to take, and then I will scout out which way I'm going to take the carts. Okay. I'll use perception to help figure out what right. the best route is. Uh, that is a 21. 21. You got it locked. You think you got this. It is the shortest route, and you feel like you could uh, very easily get the wagon there unnoticed if if he is successful in luring the guards away. Okay. Right. Adam, what are you doing? What is Corbo doing rather? Or Corbin doing rather? <laughs> I can handle the horses. You can handle the horses? Oh, I will be the secondary distraction. I didn't like the way you said, oh, yeah. You start the distraction, <laughs> I will I funnel them to you. Oh, okay. okay. So, do you want me to run, like, a Beast you're a bad guy that need to chase you thing, or that we have an event that we need to get them to thing? I got two options for you. I'm selling many different flavors. <laughs> so, I am... Where's my popcorn? Mind-numbingly <clears throat> sober right now. Oof. <laughs> Which means... Dealer's choice. <laughs> Ooh, dealer's choice. That's oh, yeah. my favorite option. Nice. I know that's how you rob. How fake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, rob is a strong word. I prefer a game of chance that went my way because I'm a very skilled player. That's a nice way of saying you, you cheat. cheat. What are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna cheat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them that there is a accident back there, and I just need you to back up my story when we run into you. Okay. Mm. Alright. Is there a wandering minstrel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at Ms. Ago has his always. <laughs> 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 need a guitar case now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm uh, I'm gonna make sure you're ready to go. I am ready to go. And I'll go uh, just uh, wait till you start seeing people running and then uh, take your route. Hello. Um, is that always the same? Handle animal is a thing in this, right? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. why don't you make me a handle animal check? That is going to be a sixteen. Okay, that's fine. You don't you don't have I, any mishaps with the, the handling of the animals. Um, all right. Roll a two like me. You going, see two guards. Yep. Yeah. One going. is Kurt Ray. He looks like um, <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris yeah, oh. with oh. a goatee, yeah, and he is dressed. Similar to like a British naval officer of oh. of colonial times, so is he is he I is thought. very fancy, I fancily dressed. So <laughs> right. <laughs> so he, the they're walking, work. walking along. Uh, I'm gonna once I see them, I'm gonna go around the corner. 
direction. And I'm going to run out and go, oh my god, there's a fire, there's a fire, we need to go. Who, where are you? Why are you here? Why are you not at the fire over there? They make a deception, deception check. check. Yeah. That's what I figured. Oh, 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 that's good. That's super good. That's an eight with the natural one. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing they do is they look up for smoke. <laughs> There is no smoke. Yeah, but I smell like fire. You smell like brimstone. And they're like, what is the deal? Why don't, why don't we come around this corner? And they, they look around like you're going to get beaten up. Um, <laughs> and they walk around the corner with you. Where are you in all of this? So I'm walking past because I was supposed to go down farther and be like, yeah, there's a fire <laughs> um, when i see them start dragging him into the alley they he is uh he has been arrested for walking while tiefling yeah. so. <laughs> um it happens i'll come up okay and i'll be like they've got their clubs out at this point yeah. like and i look down the street I'm like did Bafo just take something off that cart they look <laughs> <laughs> would you like a deception yeah for me? absolutely <laughs> 10. Okay. Believable. It's believable. Yeah, they look up and they're like, we hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> I'm like, that guy's always just laying around, giving other people who sleep in gutters a bad name. <laughs> right? Also, quit sleeping in the gutters, Corvin. <laughs> to be fair, the barmaid threw me in there. That I didn't is, choose. That is fair. It was actually us that threw you in the gutter. <laughs> she called us over. Is that why I don't have my... And I start patting my side <laughs> like I'm missing a coin wow. pouch. Well, we've got to continue on. <laughs> <laughs> they walk off. They just turned out yeah. there. They, they walk off. So. I hate that guy. Such a dick. Um, Aaron, uh, roll me a personal dice. And uh, is high good for you or bad for you? High is good for me. Okay. And that's that's the exact an opposite of that. That is a 28. High? Oh, 28. Yes. A 28. Okay. So. Um, as you guys are making the, the cartway, you see them walk around and they're like, where did he go? And then they look directly at the cart and they're like, what the hell is this now? Okay. Here we go for uh, round two. You're doing plan two? Wait, yeah, I'm doing they plan found two. found the cart. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Immediately. Uh, Which is, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to walk over because they're looking at his cart right now. Yeah, they're looking said? at his cart. Yeah. Um, get distracted. I might do something. You might do you something. Sell a team here. Are we, are we doing? This? As I'm walking with two cart, two carts, I'm pulling. I've got. Yeah. I'm walking along, uh -huh. pulling toward rams because yeah. they're dwarfs. Yes. <laughs> Handle rams. Yeah. You should yeah. let one of those go. Do you have something? Hmm? You should let one of those um, go. No. What are you gonna do? Should we roll initiative? I was for this. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I was gonna mage hand slap him on the ass and then have him chase me because he hates me anyways. It's a good plan. <laughs> I was going to hex him and give him disadvantage on wisdom. Okay. Sharks. <laughs> so that he'd have disadvantage for when you try to lie to him again. I mean, we could try that first. <laughs> My plan's always option B. I just feel like that's better. So, the two. I don't know, man. As he starts start, start, going like yeah. this and warming uh, yeah. up never and never slapping him. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, like, oh. He's like, hold on, I got plan number two. <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> And then I look down at him. Okay. Are you uh, hexing Kurt Ray or are you hexing Kurt the... Ray. Okay. I hate that guy. That's pretty shitty. I mean, what did the five major fingers just, say to the face? He's just the <laughs> town <laughs> watch commander. Okay, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw, is that right? Or does it just happen? You know, I don't have a saving throw listed on here. It says it just I happens. I believe it Let just happens. Check. Yeah. Let me check my backup sheet just in case. You have a sheet to back up your sheet. Yeah, this one has a little bit. Michelle just turned it on. Oh, okay. I do not see anything that says that he gets it. So I okay. Say. So he uh, he is now um, hexed by you, and it does a whole bunch of other stuff. But the main one is disability on Wiz. Right. Disability and extra damage, right? Disability huh? Extra Wiz. damage. Yeah. I'll if I hit him, I deal extra <laughs> necrotic damage. Yeah. Um, Fine print. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we're about fight now. I choose one ability when you cast the spell. Target has disadvantage. Disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. Okay. If he somehow drops to zero hit points before an hour's up, I 
can pop that over. Oh, okay, good. It's also a concentration spell. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go up to him and I'm like, all right, it's time to fess up about what's really going on. Okay. As you may have noticed, there's no fire. <laughs> he has noticed that. I don't even. I don't even pause. Like I, I just know it's coming, and I just, I just keep on walking. Sir, because sir, could you, could you, you know, stop with the carts, please? Because what I really need to tell you is their hands go to the hil hilts of their swords, sir. Sir, I'm going to need you to stop with that cart. I. <laughs> Network. I'm trying cops. to make sure <laughs> that you don't notice the fact. The guy in the tavern paid me a gold to make sure that you check out this cart while he robs that store by himself. <laughs> make your deception and all. This time it'll be opposed. Okay. Okay. Um, and that was. Which your fifteen? No bonus. Fifteen. So he got a uh, six. Oh. Because An 18 and a 6. She's naturally oh. inclined to believe that I am, in fact, in part of a crime. That's, yeah. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> so they I got pause with the, the, the two, two like, Kurt Ray and his guard, <laughs> run off over to Corpo's store, and they're like, God damn it. Why do we let tieflings in this town? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I turned to the card and I'm like, a little faster. faster. <laughs> I tell the Rams because they actually understand me. Yeah. I'm like, let's move it. Right. <laughs> so you, you can get them where you need so to go. So not only can I handle animal, but I can actually talk to them so they understand me. Uh, okay. So you get them where they need to go. You get it's, them hidden in the warehouse. Yep, hidden in the warehouse. Um, there is a, a dwarf there that lets you in and gets it hey, all set up. Is that dwarf when we come up and be like, what's your name? Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Craig? I know Craig. Not nah, Craig. See, that's common. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. I do not know a Craig. I just. <laughs> Craig Wonderfist, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just. So do you guys attend the festival? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. We have booze now. Also, uh, specifically while I'm there, I'm going to be keeping an eye out because uh, I think the festival might bring out someone I've been looking for. Okay. Who are you looking for? I am looking for Thaven. Thaven? Mm hmm. It was someone that. Steven, but he has a list. No, I am looking to meet, hopefully, in this area. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, I'm hoping the festival maybe is a good place with lots of people where I might see him. Okay. Um, so... But I'm really just there to party. There is... There is a, a set of... Uh, the whole town comes to this um, this event. And there are uh, roughly 200 people in the town. So it is fairly large. Um, does any, is anybody interested in... Uh, doing any of the events or the you events again? So there is a baking challenge. There is a marksman <laughs> contest, baking. and there is uh, boat races. And there are monetary prizes for each. Boat I, races, you say? I am yeah. not interested in the events per se, but I would be interested in setting up a bookie uh, <laughs> situation around said events. You want to bet on the events? Uh, I kind of want to get people to bet on the events. Okay, <laughs> I'll do the sailing. The boat races? Yeah. I'll take a shot at the... Did you say it was archery? Yeah, it's marksman. Marksman. So I can mm -hmm. use my crossbow? Mm hmm Awesome. Okay. So the boat races, um, when you go to sign up for the boat races, um, the so the guy that's taking down names that says, okay, who are you? Who's your partner? Partner? What partner? You're not going to... You're not going to race alone, are you? Why not? Well, was... because it's... Full contact boat racing. Full and contact boat you're, racing. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have the oars and defend yourself. At the same time. You just go out in front. Just you're not gonna. Front. You're not gonna win like that. That's that way. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so you two. Do I do? How do we know you guys? Do we know? You so guys? my understanding remember. is, 
and that at some point you had sailed on the Tempest Temptress. Okay, so, so like you an know, odd job or two. Yeah, when yeah. we were doing session zero, I was under the impression we were got in town and we weren't. Part I of think the crew. we got to town via the Temptress because oh, yeah. I'm angry at Jim. Yeah. Ah, okay, so that's probably what it was then. So you have you have met these two because they're crew members, yeah. and then he is their brothers. So you if would you need help brothers. on the ship. If you need Our help on the was... ship, then let me know. Diplomatic. Diplomatic. So the, the <laughs> it's not a ship, it's a boat. It's like a rowboat. And it can hold three people. So if you want to be part of their crew, you certainly could. Oh, you could hit them from really far away. You, you plus you. Well, I guess you got half health. <laughs> I mean, Hi, Hill. Are you going to tell me that you're entering the boat race? Huh? Are you going to tell me yeah. that you're entering the boat race? Okay. I'm going to go find you. Perfect. This go looks ahead. awesome. I'll pray for you guys. <laughs> I will also pray for you, you guys, and then I'll immediately start <laughs> shitting on these guys to get the ratings better when I bet on them. I'm going to need you to make a deception check. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Uh, 25? 25. Okay. The Mine odds on them are... Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to win, they're awful. They're so bad. So it's fair. I imagine the scene is exactly like this. I'm going up and I'll be like, this guy, he's not even a high hill. He's a half hill. There's no way. This guy, he doesn't even like people. How can he sail a boat right going? Oh, he oh, can't oh. even swim. And then as soon as people are like, yeah, yeah, and they place their bets, I immediately go up to the bookie and I go, you um, I want two gold on them, please. Yeah, two gold on them. Okay. <laughs> and it is. I was stuck on an island. I, of course I can swim. Six to one. A good roll. Six to one. Six to one. Okay. Do I. Catch some of that? Yeah, if you want. As you hear him doing it. Um, uh, here. <laughs> I give him a call. Okay. No gunner for you to So are you, are you going with him? <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, the way the rowboat is, is you can either row as one person rowing, or you can have two people rowing side by side. And um, there are there is a seat in the bow. Is it bow? Bow is the yes. front. Bow is the front. front. Uh, yeah, as bow yeah. and stern, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. If only um, someone was nautical. <laughs> I was nautical a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is a seat in both spots, but there's it's wide enough that you two could sit next to each other. And... Uh, I do pushing, dragging, carrying capacity, all of those things. I do a size. So you want to row? I'll row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And what does it require cool. athletics to do? It's going to require okay, athletics. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll row. Okay. Um, I, I will defend the ship. So, okay. wild we'll shape, Do we Frank. just dip him in the water? What is he? Uh, he and then he grows two I, times bigger. He, he makes... Bigger. He, he takes... Yeah, he takes days. Their he ships burn and sink. So, Frank, Frank, did you look up wild shape? That's awesome. Uh, no. Not a good, I don't get it till next level. So. Oh, you don't get yeah. wild shape at all. I don't get wild shape till level two. Okay. Yeah. So no. Wild no, shape. right. A big ape turning into a dolphin. Probably a big ape would be <laughs> nice. But, uh, <laughs> probably have a decent but strength. But no wild score. shape. Yeah, you oh, turn into a dolphin and you, and you pull the boat. Huh? You've turned into a dolphin and you pull the boat. <laughs> oh, he can't. No. Not till that's too that's cheating. That, well, I think swim speed. And yeah, I don't get swim are higher level. So I don't get fly or swim. But um, okay, so you're you're rowing. What are you doing? Defending. Defending. And you're casting spells, I assume. Uh, yeah. Or but I'm going to stand on, going, on, the, on the bow, pointing forward, sure. and then shooting back behind us. Okay. Looking exactly. majestic. Exactly. Okay. Captain stuff. Come on. Okay. I draw a dagger. So there are several crews of, of ships that are going to be doing this race. Um, one of them um, is Kurt Ray and a few guards <gasps> oh. who look at you and they are like, Someone's up with that fur bog. So, anyone else from our crew doing this? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do you see, Mr. You, Steel is. You, you do see Remington, uh, Mr. Remington. Um, you see uh, Bernadette, uh, Grim Bernadette as well. And so, he's so happy. Yeah. Um, Nevermore. Which is one of the uh, Kenku. Are they three separate boats or one? No, boat? they're they're a crew. Okay. Well, There's I don't a question like on Twitch <clears throat> regarding What's... the giveaway. Okay. If, if we're going to be doing the giveaway, or if somebody's missed it. We have not done the giveaway yet. 
Um, but we will be doing it, let's see here, we're at seven. We'll be doing it in about a half an hour. Nice. So, uh, what's your character's name? Xenos. Don't fall in. I won't fall in? Good. He's serious about that. I'm right. gonna take a short Thank rest. You he won't pick you up. Yeah, you can take a short rest. Yeah, even absolutely. if you fall. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's totally not your fault. Yeah. No, I'm gonna be playing for it. Oh, your knee hurts a little bit. I told you. Um. Probably this trap. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what? What's your What's your plan for your <laughs> spells? Just so that I know. Um. You're gonna screw with Kurt Ray's shit boat, right? I mean, he's an asshole. I thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, it's only one gold. So, <laughs> Kurt Ray. <laughs> He's going to have two guards rowing, and he's going to be... Mr. Fancy Pants. No, I, was, I was saving it for my competition. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. All right. Um, I will go up to... Because uh, it's him and two guards. Uh-huh. Uh, I would like to talk to one of the guards and tell him that the other guards have been shitting on him behind his back and saying how they're having to drag him across the finish you're, line in this competition. You're talking to Kurt Ray? Not Kurt Ray. One Not, of the guards of okay. Kurt Ray's team. <laughs> okay. So why don't you make a deception check Absolutely. for Absolutely. All right. That is going to be 15. 15. Okay. Um, so <laughs> he's sad. <laughs> and Adam flicked the sad So I'm sitting there and he's like, but time shit. You know what? We teach those guys. Uh-huh. Show them what it really means to drag someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Are you rowing? Yeah, he's rowing. Oh. You know the best thing about rowing. Hmm. If you start doing it the other way, it really doesn't help. <laughs> well, like, That'll so, show them the so stuck up he, uh, Why don't you make a persuasion check for me? Absolutely. You've already deceived him. Oh, that's even Ooh. better. That's going to be a twenty-five. Okay, so he is not going to—he's not going to make it so bad that it's noticeable. Yeah. But he—you have definitely convinced him to throw. <laughs> it. So and as he walks away, I'm just like that guy, and I'm looking at the guy. Such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. So let's do this. Why don't we take a short break right now? Right. Um, and when we come back, uh, we'll be gone. Let's do. Uh, five minute break and when we come back we'll do the giveaway and um and do the race yeah and then we'll do the race cool. go ahead and turn your mics on
$8,000. Okay. So we do have a winner for the uh, digital hoodie giveaway. Uh, congratulations to Tendril Mine. You won. Um, please read. Please DM uh, Hyperion PDX on Twitter and uh, DM me with your um, address, and I will get that sent out to you this week. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. Thanks Woo! for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it. We'll um, get better. <laughs> and uh, everybody else, if you haven't already, <laughs> please turn on your mics again, and we'll get we'll get going. Do we turn the mixer back on? Mm -hmm. Okay. I should, probably should have asked that before we did the giveaway. Well, that's why I gave you the thumbs up. The what? The Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Okay, so we, where we left off was the boat races. So, Frank, we're going to need to roll initiative. We're getting a holy crap and a woohoo. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> um, so we need to roll initiative. Um, mostly it's, well, actually, we'll go full on initiative for this. Hey, Mike, Mike, by your foot is a mess. You're right, there is. It wouldn't be a game with it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. All right, so, nice. Um, all right, so we're rolling initiative. We uh, just, for, just for people that are awesome. dealing with the, the boat. Okay. So, well, I gotta pray for my team. Just to make it today. <laughs> That's Ooh. right, we pray. Pray shipwreck doesn't get in another shipwreck. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that the second you said shipwreck, all I thought was G.I. Joe and a tattoo on the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is bad. Frank, what'd you get? Oh, 20 yeah. from my initial. 20? Maybe. Nice. Oh. Maybe there's a tattoo on him, maybe there's not. <laughs> I would love to see a G.I. Joe. The one where he melts? Up as a Mike? Hmm? Initiative? 14. 14. <clears throat> Doug? Eight. 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 That's yeah, terrible. Don't fall in. <laughs> you know, I, All right. I got an eight. You got an eight? <laughs> if it matters. It does matter. No, it doesn't matter. He's tall for his race. Okay. There are only like Is this what I have to look forward to? Short jokes for this entire campaign? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm seven five. We probably guard for your life, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, oh that's too harsh. real. Yeah. He's taller than. So He's not taller than Ken. The expectation is too high. Okay, so Ken. you three are going to go on a boat race. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and Frank, yes. I need you to roll me an athletics check. 16. 16. Uh, so you are, um, you're off to a good start. <laughs> okay. Yay. Is that still good? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're off to a good start. You, s you actually start pulling away. <laughs> um, and um, Kurt Ray's ship or boat is struggling a little bit. The uh, the ship with the rest of the crew uh, and Mr. Remington um, is is your main competition at this point. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and make theirs because they rolled a nineteen, and yeah, they actually are catching up quick. Like you okay. got a good jump, but they're catching okay. up quick. Um, Can I get any sort of bonus, bonus for being larger than my <laughs> Yeah, I'm two definitely going to give you a bonus. Um, I'm like... <laughs> like bouncing on the right. surface of the water. <laughs> <laughs> like one stroke of the boat. <laughs> I got a rope I'm holding on to. <laughs> He's not as, tie not as noble twice. looking as he was hoping to be. <laughs> right. I was kind of bouncing around. <laughs> so, uh, Shipwreck, what do you do? Um... So, if we're getting close to somebody, I'm going to try to chop their boat in half. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle. Wow. I like it. Just, okay. So, um, <laughs> so, or jump on their boat and beat so, them up. So, look out for that chipwreck. He is cruising because he is bigger than, uh, than a medium-sized creature, yeah. basically. Um, but the ship with your crew on it, or the boat with your crew on it, is the only one that's keeping pace with you at this yeah. point. Um, so <laughs> you, you are I'm, within t attack range I'm to... I'm going to go for an ore. Okay. All right. So make your attack and you're attacking with what? Uh, my great axe. Your great axe. Okay. Uh, that's a 21. Okay. Yeah. You hit. <laughs> you hit just fine. All right. 10 damage. Okay. So that snaps <laughs> that ore. <laughs> Queen and a half. Bye, guys. Oh, there's, there's... <laughs> 
good natured cries of foul <laughs> <laughs> because it is like as long as there's no fatalities, it is open <laughs> open season. Um, Splittered. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Uh, Zenos, you doing so anything? So who's standing on their boat? Anybody? Or are they uh, all? Uh, uh, Mr. Remington is. Okay, so standing on I'm going to cast grease Ooh. on <laughs> center deck on the boat. So it's going to be under him and the guys that are rowing. Sure. So if they try to do anything to salvage the oar or something, they're going to be stuck okay. on the slide. Okay. There is. Once the uh, once the oar snaps in half, there is definitely some <laughs> floundering a bit. Yeah, I want to watch this guy land on his hat. And yeah, I figured you did. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a roll for Mr. Remington to to succeed on his. Uh... Um. Oh yeah, that's a that's an eight. That's a strong eight. Okay, well the DC was twelve. Okay, so he slips mm -hmm. and. Um, is high good for you or bad for you? Uh, high is good. High is good. Okay. So that is a 64. So he lands on his back on the rail before <laughs> falling oh. into the water. <laughs> into the water? <laughs> yeah, into the water. Uh, Twitter, right? For yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's not fit to be captain of anything. <laughs> you are scrubbing so much poop. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think he's the most. So <laughs> at this point, the other two are like sopping what they're doing to to <laughs> get him into the boat. I well, just like waving. their boat is greased. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see. Well, one saves. Okay. Uh, the other one falls in because he's like leaning over. Oh, good. Oh, actually, she because it's Bernadette. So she's leaning over. <laughs> And uh, oh, wow. she slips in. She's not happy about it. She that. looks grim. <laughs> she looks grim. I told you. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> it's, I, it's like knee deep. So, um, <laughs> for you. <laughs> let's roll for the rest of the. Okay, so um, at this point, uh, Frank, I, I need so. you to make me another special. athletics check. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah. 19. Okay, so you're, you're cruising. <laughs> at this point, you are well beyond. <laughs> Um, and why don't you make a perception check for me? Uh, 11. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shipwreck? Um, you see, because it's starting to get dark, and you have to make it out to the buoys and back. Um, uh, and back. And back, you say. That's what going to be. Changes a couple of things. <laughs> so you get out... Uh, you're uh, at this point. Um, it is clear that no one is catching you at this point. Um, so, but you see, people have kind of decided a different type of strategy. Because if you guys don't make it back, then someone can still win this. So they're still rowing, but they don't have any hope of catching you out to the buoy. So, so um, they're going to blockade us on the way back. Right. Yeah. So. Um, I what he didn't see, why don't you make a perception check for me? <laughs> what he didn't see, you also did not see. <laughs> Doug, you're on, the, you're on the bow. I don't see anything. All right. I'm, oh. I'm just pointing at the buoy. That's right. He's That's right. standing behind oh, me yeah. all the half as I move I know, in the front of the boat now. Okay. Because if they get, I'm going to go full rager on... <laughs> I there's a better way to phrase that, but we'll, we'll just move forward. Well, I, I think that's right. Let me check. I'm gonna go that's right. Over. Look it up in D and D Urban oh. Dictionary. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you see, you see the ship, uh, the boat starting to form a blockade of sorts. Um, so Doug, yeah, you make it out to the buoy. Yeah, start turning back. Um, make another. How far? Out it's are, the, are the, the, the boats? Is the blockade from us now? Uh, it is about a round away. Is that uh, right? I mean, 120 fast. feet away, 60 <laughs> feet away. 60 feet. Uh, let's say 60 feet. 60. <clears throat> oh wow. Um, then I. Ready to go through the middle? Do you, get a, do you get a fireball? So, yeah, I got a fire firebolt. Um, one of them. Okay. And they're close together, right? Yeah. Three for my. So oh we, yeah. So I hit. So. I do a stroke. Like the then I box put, twins. I drop the oar into the water as I mid stroke, so I immediately start to spin as we go around nice. the buoy. And then I'm like, yeah, he falls out. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> on with the rope. <laughs> and as we go around, He's I like, fireball. Speed. You're the... like, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so when I I bring the actually bring the boat kind of up out of the water, you're holding on. I'm like, I told you not, don't end up in the water. I, and then I, I come, come back water. around and I am headed straight straight for him. I'm okay. like straight down the center. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I yell out, I was only told not to kill one of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so what's the attack roll to hit a boat? I mean, you have to make an attack roll. Well, okay, so that's an I 18. A, oh, yeah, that hits okay. a boat. <laughs> so um, the spell, I hurl a moat of fire at a boat. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's see, I hit. takes 1d10 fire damage. So that takes two... <laughs> two fire damage. It sounds exactly like fire that. damage. And a flammable object, which I assume these boats are. <laughs> these boats are flammable. Ignites. Okay. So now the boat no, is burning. Now there's a boat on fire. And Adorant. now, without a perception check, you see crossbows ready to hit you. From, they, from the boats. From the boats. Yeah. They don't have to kill you, but if they wing you. Hmm. Well, now that I see that, that does alter <clears throat> things a little bit. Okay, so. You have well, a move action. What do you, are, are, are you gonna? I have a move action. You might want to duck. I, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. okay. on the boat. You drop yeah. prone. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. I can I can cast my next spell prone. Okay. Hey Shad. Yes. Can I nudge the guy who was taking the bets? Yeah. Can I raise my bet? <laughs> <laughs> he says no. <laughs> <laughs> on the upside, and I'm right next to you, like with a like a quill and paper out. I'm like, I think I have a new idea. It's called pirate. Pirate Islands Drift, okay? Just check it out. It's about this one creature. And no. its ability is it can turn on a stop. That's right. Pirate Boat Drift, man. Okay, uh, so, um, let's see here. Did you do anything? You just shouted to them. I, I rage. You would like to rage? Yeah. Are you going to ready an action? Yeah, I'm going to ready an action oh, okay. to... Because at this speed, you're going to get to them <laughs> yeah. quickly. On his I, initiative. I'm going to chop a oh, Okay. All right. So they're going to take some shots at you guys. Ooh, so what's your AC and what's your AC? Doug, I don't need to hear it. Okay. 18. Stay down. Oh, yeah. 18? Yeah. And 15. 15. Okay. Get shot at. Yeah. So I'm going to make uh, four attacks, two, two at each of you. So, um, Frank, you're going to take a hit. And Mike, you, um, some crossbow bolts whiz by you. Um, all right, so Frank, you're going to take three damage. Piercing damage, if it matters. So, I'd take half, that was what I was going for. Then he goes, <laughs> he, he gets shield. you there, so. I'm going to chop at a boat. Okay, the, the one, one that's burning? on fire or the one that's not on the fire? The one that's not on fire. Okay. That is a 13. A 13 is going to hit that boat. All right. Yeah, it's uh, 18 damage. <laughs> okay, so the boat <laughs> is no longer a boat. You have <laughs> next damage. <laughs> disassembled it. You have disassembled it into um, items that could be made into a boat. <laughs> like maybe two parts. So Plank, boat. Planks I told of, you. Planks of wood. Boat. Yeah, you so basically hit it up, and it just and you're like, splinters. Oh. Yeah. So you Check now out. have a clear path. Go ahead and make me a uh, one more. Oh no! I slowed check. down a little bit. Uh oh. I slowed down to a seven. I slowed okay. down a little so bit. Okay. So you're struggling a little bit, but you have now crested through the wreckage <laughs> of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> one is on fire. They're, they're one is dampening the fire. Kurt Ray's boat is still kind of going in a little bit of a circle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's at that point, the person touches you and goes, that guy thinks the other guys hate him. <laughs> and you guys win the boat race. Congratulations. Oh, My prayers worked. The yes, the <laughs> prayers did it all. The prize was 15 gold pieces. So you can split that Pizza. evenly, or <laughs> however you, you choose. Uh, well, I bet so two on clearly six some of that to one, six to one so needs to be given. Yeah. And I get six yeah. as an offering. So you almost got more Don't forget the tithe of the tithe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the tithe. That is why. What? <laughs> Don't forget 10 the tithe. Ten percent is what Ten percent of that goes to, to Umberly. Okay. So um, everybody is. You want to continue surviving in the sea. Every a cheer arises as you guys make Absolutely. make your way into um, into the harbor. Um, Our ping is going nuts. And um, so Adam Corvin is called <laughs> over to the um, 
the shooting range or the shooting yeah. galley. Um, and the marksmanship contest is a series of rings in a row. Uh, they get progressively smaller and further away. So it is very difficult to shoot the farthest ring, which is mm -hmm. the smallest ring. Um, and there are a number of people that are lined up to shoot. Um, okay. There's a couple of guardsmen um, who seem to know their way around a bow. Um, oh, there's a bow. I better get around that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bafo is, uh, is there. And, um, and then that there's guy. you. So what would you like to do before? Um, you sound, you seemed like you had a plan. I was going to, but with that description, I'm just going to load my crossbow. You're just going to load your crossbow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go up and I'm going to flip the con now because everyone knows that I'm the guy that made the terrible decision last time. So I'm going to use that. I'm like, I know last time went poorly, but I'm almost positive that, and I'm going to point at him. He, or no, I'm not going to point at him. I'm going to point at one of the other contestants and go, he's definitely going to win this one. So are you trying to say that uh, Vatho is going to win? Or are mm -hmm. you, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to flip the fact that everyone doesn't trust me anymore. <laughs> no one trusts you to begin with. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Less than before. <laughs> Smart. As if that's possible. Mild mannered. So, mild mannered Botho. So, um, to give you an idea of what Botho looks like, because I kind of described him before, he's a human. Um, he's got white hair, white beard. Uh, he does have a nasty looking scar over one eye. Um, and he's kind of paunchy. So, um, he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's a super nice guy. polite. He's polite. He calls everybody sir, um, even if uh, you would societally be in a lower class. He, he calls people by uh, proper names. So, um, so what are you what are you doing? Can I go up to the guards? Sure. The two guards. Yeah. You guys are in the competition too. Yeah. yeah that's good. I've got a heavy crossbow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a heavy crossbow. Okay. okay that's good. Is that Baffle? Yeah. Didn't the guard captain see him taking something earlier today? <laughs> <laughs> that dude is still uh, having a crappy day. They look over to where Botha is still, or uh, but where Kurt Ray is still trying to get out <laughs> to the buoys and back, and they're like, "It could be. I don't know." I'm pretty sure he went looking for him with the other guy. Is <clears throat> was the guard that was with him in the boat? Is high good for you? Or bad for you? Uh, high is always good for me. Okay. Uh. No, it's um, it, he, the, one of the guys you're talking to is 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 the guy that you had bluffed before. So um, he definitely is interested in in Batha. Huh? You're not just gonna let him be in the contest, are you? Well, didn't he steal something? I mean, maybe we, should we go talk to him? Is I mean, like... I know it might take you out of the contest, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I'll just go talk to him. And then the other guard, the guard that you're talking to, <laughs> he's, uh, he's going to remain in the contest. So so while he goes over, uh -huh. um, <laughs> can I do a little persuasion? Yeah, you can. That's funny, because if he's the only one who goes over there, then I think he's the only one that gets the reward they were talking about. I think that's a deception. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, it's still 16. <laughs> uh, I figured it, yeah. it, it would not be different. Uh, okay. I mean, that's he's probably a higher rank, so... <laughs> You'd probably get it anyway. And then I put a bolt in my crossbow and start... <laughs> okay. All right. Back to my side. Uh, okay, so the other guard goes over and starts... <laughs> Harassing Bob. <laughs> and then I want to look over at the guy. Are we starting this or what? <laughs> <laughs> so you, yeah, he says, go ahead and make your shot. All right. So make an attack roll. Bob was a nice guy. And tell me what you get. All right. Um, all of. You get three rounds. Yeah. And your scores are cumulative. I believe. Gonna do something fancy, aren't you? So I believe I can have my crossbow be my chosen weapon that I can use charisma on. Sure. What? So why not? That'll give me a slightly better bonus. Sure. What is your hit die? 
15. Okay, so you, your first shot, six. here's how it goes. So it's, seven, uh, seven. first ring is 10, uh -huh. second ring is 15, and then it goes up. Okay. So you score two points on the first round. Okay. Um, the <clears throat> other guards are talking to Botho, so um, they do not shoot the first time. So now it is your time. <laughs> oh, okay. You've distracted them a couple rounds. <laughs> you should let Hathel sit on your shoulder so you can actually see the competition. No. We're on the boat! Uh, 16. We're winning. 16, by the way. Okay, so again, another two points. You didn't get high enough to get the 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 20. Okay. Um, so you got another two points. So you got four points. At this point, <laughs> they you hear feel like they've been had. Botho say, you know that there's no reward on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're in his pocket <laughs> or, um, but no matter how much he's paying you, the reward for this is going to be, I mean, he smells like hot garbage. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> he that was the mage off. cleaned me up. He <laughs> usually smells like heart garbage. <laughs> that is a fact. And Are you playing the Battle of the Bafo for me? Oh. <laughs> right now, I'm playing it in, in the lyrics. Hey, I'm just going, that was totally um, So, <laughs> what, um, so they they ready their shots. So they're oh, going to sure. shoot. Sure. You got a round in before them. Huh. And there's only three rounds. So, first guy, um, he pulls back and his arrow does not hit the first target. <laughs> the second guy <laughs> is laughing at the first one <laughs> and his arrow does not hit the first target. <laughs> Botho is concentrating. I have to open my book here. Uh -oh. da -da -da -da. So he got a natural 20. <laughs> oh boy, it's Robin Hood. Wow. So he scores, uh, he scores five points <laughs> on his second round. So now it's your turn, Adam. Is an attack an ability check? Or is it an attack? Um, ability check would be a skill. Yeah, ability check would okay. be a skill. Are you going to give yourself enhance ability? No. You're thinking about a curse? I was thinking about a curse. I was, I was actually going to do something real quick. This might affect your decision. And I'm going to be like... Uh, <laughs> like, he says I never do anything for him. I'm going to go to Batho, and I'm going to go, Hey, does your legs hurt because you're always running from people all the time because no one likes you? And I'm Are you going to cutting words him? No, this is Vicious Moth. Oh. You need just... to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. Or else have disadvantage on this next attack. Oh, <laughs> oh he has oh. disadvantage on this <laughs> <laughs> You are me. What's a DC that Batho needs to make? Uh, for his wisdom saving throw, he has 15. Um, I am not cheating. He did roll another natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get it out of the way. Otho is the man. Uh, yeah. Right? I don't know why everyone picks on him. He's clearly a superior being. <laughs> <laughs> you mock him. All right, so um, he's the he's in the popper thing. Yeah. Oh, natural one. Okay, Ooh. so you got four points. So you can't win. Yep. Uh, the guard, guard number one, got he. Pulls it back, so he got a 15. So he got he got two points. Guard number two got uh, another two points, so they're at two and two. Batho is going to make his shot, and he rolled a three, so he only gets one point. So he gets six points out of it. Uh, Batho does win the the purse, and um, and then the guards start harassing him again. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he comes over to you and he's like that was, you gave me a run for my money there and he hands you five gold cool uh, just so you know they think you stole stuff yeah, about that <laughs> I appreciate you not doing that I give that. him one gold back <laughs> fair enough, fair enough and he claps you on the back and he's like let's go get some mail well, I mean, if there's ale. <laughs> I mean, if there's ale. So, is there anything that anybody else would like to do? Uh, I'm going to scan the crowd for interesting people. Um, and the, the person that you're looking for, his name is <coughs> Than? Than, yeah. Than, and he's a tiefling. No, he is an elf. He's an elf. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you, uh, why don't you make an investigation check for me? Absolutely. 
Uh, that's only going to be an eight. Okay. You do not see Thayan here. Yeah. Bummer. What about the sage? Is he around? Sage is there, yeah. Well, I, I would definitely want to talk to him about the, the boat race, if he saw the boat race. Because there was some he did see pretty the boat. amazing he magic. He did Come see on. the boat race. He took on two people. Um, and, um, yeah, he's he's impressed by your, um, your quick thinking. Um... Oh. And he says, if if we if you would like to talk tomorrow, I would be happy to uh, share some knowledge with you. That would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> Drop some knowledge. And he says, um, before uh, he says, if you'll excuse me, before the feast, I have to say a few few words. Um, and he goes out to the crowd and he um, talks about Umberly and how. Um, by the grace, uh, by her grace, we are allowed to sail the seas. Um, That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and he says some brief incantations, um, and he says that hopefully uh, we will have smooth sailing this winter. Um, I need you to roll me one last um, persuasion? persuasion check to really hit home on how well the preparation was done for this So feast. good. It was so good. Yeah, 21. 21. That's impressive. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, DC was 40. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. So we're level one. <laughs> so yeah. So we'll see how how that impacts things going forward <laughs> with the campaign. Would, would you like sound good, right? <laughs> right. Twenty one, and it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Why am I afraid I'm going to be in another shipwreck? <laughs> I even have captain. You have nothing to worry about. That's that's the guy keep the boat. That's true. And one guy sank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did not sink. No, because I was captain. So, um, so Teamwork. logical fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dwarves come forward and they they bring in the carts of ale and they say, uh, for the feast, uh, we the Rumbletide dwarves have brought in um, the freshest batch of Rumbletide ale for you all, and everybody's cheering. Wait a second. Is that supposed to be part of the preparations? What? The ale. The ale? He doesn't know about the ale, so now he's concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Is that... Should I talk to somebody real quick about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me? Yeah. Is, Mr. What? Dwarf? What? what, what Craig? Uh, <laughs> <where's> <laughs> I? <laughs> Holy money. I don't, I don't remember seeing the, the ale on the list of the... Oh, uh, uh, for preparation. Yeah, just go ahead and talk to Abernathy. She'll, she'll let you know that it oh. was supposed to be there. Okay, okay. all right. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. I look at my list. Is it on the list? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it wasn't on your list, but when you talk to Abernathy, you can find her in the crowd. All right, all right. All right. Uh, you she, know we can drink this and make it all she go away. She, she was aware that there was... Oh, good. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> and then so, I only got a 21, so... So you guys <laughs> feast, um, drink... I need everybody to make me a constitution saving throw. No, my Wait, I'm drinking? Yeah. <laughs> you want to make Umberly happy, right? I know yeah, I do. There we go. How'd you do? Well, seven. Nat, how'd you do? <laughs> That's 17. 13? Okay. 17? 10. Okay. Nope. That's a wrap for you, <laughs> my friend. Uh, seven? Seven. Yeah. Wrap for you. Yeah, in one 13. round. Okay, so you guys <laughs> survived the first round. Survived. <laughs> well, I mean, there's we drink a lot. Many <laughs> drinks to have. This we is not the first round. This is a night of drinking and feasting. Oh yeah, continue drinking. Yep. Don't tell you. Okay, so um, Corpo approaches you four. Corpo is the proprietor. The pro of the shop. Yeah, the proprietor of the the um, shop in town. And he says, you know, I run a friendly game. I think you all have some... Double dice or something? Yeah. Game of what? That... No. Just dice. No. So they... I've got my mug like this. How about... <laughs> 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 yeah. 
You like to gamble? Yeah. I also like to gamble. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Good. So, that would that... take me away from drinking. No, no. Well, we can bring drinks to. Oh, well then, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is Bafo still there? Yeah, Bafo still there. I buy, right. I buy Bafo a drink. Okay. Nice. You just hear me mumbling like that. Don't let I go, good job, buddy. Anymore. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, switch over to, uh, I believe that's scene three. Um, we got to we don't need to do the thing. Because we've oh, got to oh, right, see. right, yeah. sorry. That's, uh, yeah, that one without the. Yeah. Okay. So that is uh, Corpo's um, shop with, um, yep. the second floor is his uh, living chair. Quarters. Okay. Um, so he um, he lays out cards on the table. Um, for this, we're gonna just use the the dice game that they use in Critical Role, where you can uh, the I think it was like the first or second session, where it's like two dice, mm -hmm. and then you can you can bid in two d six. So for this game, I'm just kind of watching. Like. That's fine. You can watch. Um, so for this game, it's uh, um, you can uh, so it's two d six, um, and you want to get either matching. Matching is best. Highest two sixes is the the best you can get. Okay. Um, and um, if you want to up the ante, you can roll again. Um, so if you if you got a six. Um, that and a five, then you could roll again. Although a six and a five is consecutive, it's kind of like uh, poker, but okay. with just two dice. So um, he says, um, we'll, "This is a friendly game, so we'll do uh, two silver buy-in." Okay, and, uh, I'll play for that. How many people are in here? Uh, it's you guys, and um, yeah, it's basically just you guys at this point. And, yeah, just us. Those of us that fail our saves, are we here? Are we? Your here? nappy time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <what I> <laughs> Yeah, you had all the fun you could handle. Yes. Someone, someone posts, I'm like, I have a room for another week. Let's see which is in. Just because it comes in pints doesn't mean you have to drink it that way. That's your size, though. Pint at it. Guess You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, so you guys are all buying in? You're not? Yeah, I'm just watching. Okay. Um, so he passes out dice and cups so that you can roll it. Oh, and, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you basically you can see uh, so that you can bid. So everybody, the first round. Um, Six and a four. Oh, no. I only got a five and a one. And okay. what are we trying to get? So you're just trying to get doubles. either doubles or like if you had a one and a two, that would be good. That it, It's basically like the hand of poker, except for w with less options for it. So if you get consecutive you numbers, six and, four. Um, and you can you can for another silver, you can reroll like one you of your dice. Too. I'm going to reroll one of mine. <laughs> I'll stay at my one and two. Okay. Uh, Corpo is also going to stay. <clears throat> I'm rolling. Okay. So I put one more silver in. Okay. So I got oh, a five. Oh, so we got the money shot. Uh, one more silver for me. Okay. Three silver. Five to six. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you guys, you guys beat Corpo. Can you beat? What did you get? A one and a two. A one and a two. Okay. You, so you beat you beat Corbin. Um, so he says, "Why don't we make this interesting?" And you guys both put in. Uh, a silver and high roll wins. Oh, okay. all right. Just so roll both dice now. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Okay. High one gets it. Yeah. Here we go. Come on, shipwreck. Six. Ooh, three. <laughs> okay. So hey, you got the pot. So it's two, two silver. Uh, so it's four silver together. And then for everyone that rolled again, did you roll again or you kept yours? So, <laughs> so it's four silver for me. Yeah. So I get eight silver. Yeah. Do so you guys want to play again? Yeah. All right. So I'm down for it. Finish my mug. Okay. I think I have a casper. <laughs> All right. I have to roll again. Yeah, that one. Okay. I got. I'm staying right there. You're staying. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Okay. 
We're gonna roll again. Corpo's gonna roll again. <laughs> oh, he rolled the same thing. What'd you get? Two and a four. Two and a four. Uh, Corpo's got a two and a four. Two and a six. Two and a six. Five and a six. <laughs> so you <laughs> win again. So two. Uh, three. Because Corpo. Three, six, nine? Three for me. Did yeah. everybody roll again? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> you got nine that time. You playing again? Yeah. All right. It's a 17 silver. <laughs> That's a golden seven silver. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This is my last round, guys. Okay. You know, I got you paid from the temple. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. two. Okay. I'm rolling that. It's that a straight. Again. I'll stay. You got a Carpo's going to stay. Six and a three. Okay, so you lose. <laughs> What'd you get? Pair of ones. Pair of ones. Ooh. I get a one and a two. Okay, pair of ones is going to get it. What if I re-roll my one for a two? If you want I'm to. I'm going to do it. Another silver? Another <laughs> silver. So, this so you win this unless eight. he rolls a two. I get a two. I'm taking my silver back. No. no. <laughs> All right. So, so you do three, six, eight. Did Corpo got, he, he rolled it's a sad. three and a four he to start. Yeah, so he, he was hoping that that was going to I get my 8 plus my 2? Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. So, a goal. Yeah. So there you go. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'm out. I need you more. You going to play again? Yeah. Do I look like I'm here to serve you? You carry it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The corporal put it more money in. Because I'm interesting. Because I'm interesting. <laughs> I'm rolling again. Okay. I'm rolling again, too. So is Corpo. Ooh. Uh, so I got a five and a two. I got a four and a six. <laughs> five and a six. There you go. Oh, See, that's geez. the guy who's got it. Okay. So that's six more silver for me? Six more silver for you. I'm up to two gold. So at this point, you hear a commotion outside of <gasps> Always place. a commotion. Oh, no. It was not me. It's a band. <laughs> Wandering minstrels. Um, no, so, uh, and you guys would hear, this is a big enough commotion that you might be stirred from your... Yes. I was sleeping. It's bulls. It's Tell enough. Shipwreck to give me back my special dice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine so, now. <laughs> um, a single dwarf has made it to the town of Squall, and he has several um, short, like, small arrows in him. Um, is it Craig? It is it Craig. Is Craig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Craig. This is what happens when you and and didn't see that coming, please lower your head. <laughs> <laughs> and he... Um, he says that goblins attacked the mines. <gasps> you guys couldn't defend yourself against goblins? They, <laughs> they swept in. A lot of the rumble tides were here. And, um, well, that they makes sense. Wiped. A lot of them are here. Can you heal him so he doesn't die? I will. Okay, so you heal him. I will, yeah. Um, why would himself. I heal the, him? The <laughs> elders of town giving? pull him, pull him aside. Save it for if those he to get, to get the longer, he yeah, would have survived. Um, oh, and they get the details get of the attack. <laughs> remember that when you get attacked. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in that. I'm as strong as you are. <laughs> then you'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> Plus I can heal myself. <laughs> so, um... Once they've gotten a full story out of Craig, um, <laughs> Craig the dwarf. <laughs> that poor dude does not realize he owes you money. <laughs> Craig went to fist. They pull you aside and they say, um, You owe this gentleman money. <laughs> um, they say that uh, it appears as though. Um, the, the island of Paldir is under attack and um, you would do this town a great service if you dealt with this. Is Craig going to send me my rent money back? We can talk about a reward um, if you'd like. The only reward I need is to start. save my temple. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. I'll take That's coin. <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. And coin. yeah. And if you could make the headache stop. <laughs> <laughs> what headache? It never stops. <sighs> it just You're gonna goes away. You're going to tell me strong about getting headaches again, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes the headache is washed over by water. And then it flows from you. I hate this guy so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason that he's here. <laughs> God's way of torturing <laughs> Nature provides. That is quite possible. <laughs> so they say... Um, you need to drink more. <laughs> I keep telling them that. We need you to travel to um, Stone Tooth, uh, which is the mountain at the center of the island, okay. um, and go scout the area. Now, certainly you guys are not on a suicide mission. If it gets too difficult... Um, we need to be made aware of what's going on. Um, from Craig's story, there are dwarves. Craig is a dwarven <laughs> name, if I've ever heard of him. <laughs> um, so from Craig's well, story... He's a minor dwarf. Um, from, maybe he, there are, there he's, he's, are likely he's, other dwarves that are... Like are, Philip is in trouble, maybe. No, Philip's in town. Oh, that's right. All of the Philips are in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was just there's just one living Philip, and then an unseen servant, who is also named, named Philip. Philip. Yeah. Oh, um, that's what that's how. It was. These humans are odd. Yeah, right? So, um, there are likely dwarves that are being held captive. We gotta rescue these dwarves. We do. Um, there we? was not <laughs> enough mean, discussion of that reward aspect. Are I think. Yeah, what are we getting paid? Um, uh, Craig, different from Craig. <laughs> yeah, Craig's over is, there. He owes me money. Craig is going to pay to do the job. Is willing to um, pay you guys total a thousand gold pieces. That's Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I mean, is there any wiggle room on that? Hey, <laughs> if they die, what about twelve hundred? I don't know. Is there? I think so. Is there? What about twelve hundred? So, yeah. assisting has something work? easily so divisible by six. So, assisting in fifth edition. Yes. Good question, Aaron. Yeah. Um, if you're trained in yes. the same skill that he's using, mm -hmm. you give him advantage on the check. I'm going to give you advantage. Is that? I'm going to be a hype man. Oh. Oh. It does not. It does not stack. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. can't give double advantage, but yeah. I mean, but if you want to let the highest check go. With the advantage, you're certainly welcome to I do only that. have a plus four. I, think you got a seven, right? I, had, I do have a seven. I have a six. All right, cool. I'll roll then with advantage. So one's an 18. So advantage is you roll twice and pick the higher. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so I'll take the 18. That says me 25. <laughs> okay, so 25. Um, and what are you angling for? So I'm going, I'm like, listen, 1,000 gold is a perfectly reasonable way to pay for goblins. But the thing is, Craig owes me about a week's rent. Okay. So I'm going to need that added on to our total. Also, you know, there's the time effect. See, I had other plans this week. I don't know about all of you guys, but I had lots of things going on. He's a dwarf, right? Yeah. I did have we a want more money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 12, He's like, a thousand gold doesn't split six ways so easy. <laughs> He's like, you're right. Six right. thousand gold, however. That would split. <laughs> wow. 1,200 12, gold pieces. Done. Alright. Dun, 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 um, dun, 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 dun. So, they, um, you guys wouldn't, you guys, the three of you, wouldn't necessarily know the way to uh, Stone Tooth. Um, but, Auntie Gelda, the, uh, the Storm Witch, elf aunt. Um, yeah, she, um, she lives on the way, so she can take you most of the way and then uh, and then point you to the direction. Okay. You guys probably would know. Well, everybody but, knows Antigelda. But if you're not Old Antigelda. trained in survival, maybe... I have survival. Well, you do, but you don't know the way. So <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. Valid so, point. So, um, are you trained in survival? Yes. Okay, so you guys could probably get there without... Auntie Gelda's help, but, but we should always we should at least check in and make sure she's okay. Her hut is along the way, though. Yeah, make sure right. she hasn't been hit by goblins. Yeah, and yeah. she's willing to offer you. Everybody um, likes her. Some uh, potions of healing. Oh, All the better reason to stop and once check you on her. get to her hut. All right, let's do that. All right. So you travel. Um, it is. It is. <laughs> by the way, it is late when you get to this point um, because you guys have. 
most of the town has asked out at this point. Um, <laughs> Sharpie, uh, Sharpie drawings have, have been passed out. Um, also, these two have Sharpie drawings. <laughs> because you don't know where the like real tattoos end and the sharpie. Are. <laughs> <laughs> like, did he actually get that tattooed on his body? Sharpie, sharpie. <laughs> so um, they give you a cart so that you guys can all travel together. Um, Frank, do you uh, does Rin have uh, dark vision? I don't know um, about fur bulbs. I, I know you do. Yeah, I do. I actually, do. I don't think so. Other traits. That's code sign for tiefling. Okay. 60 feet. And I don't know what, is that the same as yours? Well, it just, if, if enough of you, especially like he has survival, so he can help the horse uh, cart be drawn through the dark yes. without like. No, a, I do not have okay. anything that. So you were able see. to guide the horse without like falling off the side of the road or anything like that. I can cast dancing lights a few times too. Okay. That won't scare the horse at all. <laughs> no, I'll go the light horse. far enough ahead that you know just be light in the distance. Okay. Not spooky lights in the bushes. <laughs> so we're not ready for spooky lights in the bushes just yet. Well look, keep that optional. Three more lights. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so Auntie Gelda uh, guides you to her hut. Um, and uh, it's a small like small hut. Um, and she says, if you guys want to rest overnight here and then continue on, uh, you're certainly welcome to. Uh, if you want to go straight there, I completely understand. Um, I can go into um, my hut and find the potions At for this you. point, Vizago has like slightly leaned into her hut and is starting to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. I haven't stopped drinking. <laughs> So I think it's about a happy time for me. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Why are we sleeping? It's been a long day. We won a boat race. There he is. You went drinking and went and gambling. Mm -hmm. Now we traveled half the way to this but thing. there's monies that way. And there will be monies that way tomorrow and killing in the daytime when we can see it. I mean, at least four hours. Four. Sure. That's fine. Fun. Four hours okay. is fine. So, does anybody stay awake? Uh, sure, I'll stay awake for part of it. Okay. Do you want to split the time? Sure. Okay. So, Auntie Gilda will be happy to talk with you uh, through your watch. Awesome. Um, she doesn't appear to need rest. Need rest at this point. Um, and she just um, meditates for half an hour. <laughs> she does look old for an elf. <laughs> um, she basically she is. Craggy is all hell. She looks like a elf that has spent three hundred years on the beach. Um, so she's she, like Professor McGonagall. Yeah. Uh, and the interesting thing about uh, Auntie Gelda's hut is, uh, so it's it's got the small thatched hut, um, and it also has a single door on the outside of the hut that stands by itself. Um, yeah. And so she, So as a, at about shift change, when you're going to sleep and you're waking him up, um, she's like, I will go get, get the potions okay. for you. I have a question for you about yes. that door. Is that, a, is that an unusual door or is it just a plain door? Oh, that's just a door. Just a plain door. No. So, um, so you go to sleep for right, your four hours. Sleep. You trance. Um, on you wake up. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. So when you you see when she opens the door, it looks like she opens it into like a gigantic cavernous room, um, and she closes it, and she's gone for probably 20 minutes before she comes back out. And she says, here's two potions of healing. Make sure that you use these in, uh, very carefully, because I don't want you to, I don't, I don't want any of you to pass on. Um, and... That's a neat trick with your house. Oh, that's, that's just where I keep my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a house. <laughs> well, no, it's a, just a door. This is just a freestanding door. Right, it's just a freestanding. Oh. So there's a hut, mm. and there's a freestanding door, which you oh, okay. saw her enter <laughs> yeah. into the cavernous room. Um, and then she goes over to um, 
to Xenos, and she whispers something in his ear, and then she goes into the, the hut. What does she whisper in Xenos' ear? Well, Xenos is asleep, so you can make a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> All right, well, that's a natural 20. Okay. Or, or a, a natural 16. Way. A 16. Plus, you said this is perception? Uh, yeah, it would be perception. So, 17. 17, okay. So, uh, you don't hear much because you're, you've had a lot to drink. Oh, but, yeah, there's that. Um, I know. She says, may you find what you're looking for. Okay. And I'm asleep on a tree. Oh, not necessarily. Like I'm, I'm You're like on the by. others. I'm close by. Oh, sure. But sure. You know, y'all are people. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice because he takes up a lot of room when he sleeps. <laughs> so. It's a big tree. He sprawls out and kind of kicks yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, do you bit. say anything to him uh, about after, what? About the whispering. I mean, you definitely saw it. Maybe she. Maybe she's just into him. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You should like short guys. <laughs> so the night passes without you incident. Do healing bar, you, know. um, <laughs> you do notice that she knows um, she wants. <laughs> well, make a survival check for me. Ooh, six. You do notice that the night passes without incident. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can't roll for shit. <laughs> um, My second two tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So the next day, you set out. It's going to take you about half a day to get to um, to the entrance of the Rumble Tides um, keep or fort. Um, and um, I need the two people trained in survival to make a survival check for me. All right. Take that. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. Nineteen. Dice went. Right where it was supposed to. Right? All right. <laughs> uh-huh. So you manage to um, you manage you, so you definitely notice um, along the way that there are tracks um, and there are a lot of tracks um, and they appear to be they belong to both small and medium sized humanoids that don't appear to be dwarves. Um, Small and medium. So goblins and something else? Yeah. Hobgoblins. Mm. Mm. So uh, would that be nature or survival to observe or perception to observe the tracks a little bit more carefully? See if I can figure out. Um, what you could continue to, to make survival checks as you move along. Okay. Yeah, All right. Can... I got a 16 on mine. I got a. 24. I should just give him advantage. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the so, <laughs> um, so the the most recent My tracks that are leading four. up to this area are um, there are footprints the size of yours. Uh, do you wear shoes or no? Yeah. Uh, no, not often. No. Okay, so. They are very similar to what a furbog would leave, but you know from the clawed feet that they're not furbogs. They appear to be goblinoid in nature, but they are very big. Um, there also appears to be boot tracks, um, and um, someone with... Um, actually, just go ahead and... Now that you have your findings, just go ahead and give me an int check all around to... Intelligence. Yeah, Those intelligence. appear to be footprints. <laughs> Those ones. Wait, I can yeah, that one. I got a three. Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a four. I'd agree with that. I got a, I got a. Four. That was bigger than that one. I got a six total. <laughs> Seven total. The halfling, <laughs> the fa- halfling ability of yeah. lucky lets me re-roll a one. If I re-roll it and get a one, do I have to keep it or do I get to re-roll it? You, you have to keep it. It's okay. You re-roll yeah, and you have second to keep the second. Time. Okay. Did you, you get re- two ones? I on did in a row. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm. That, so that's not, luck. That, that is totally not, not lucky. Half luck. <laughs> yeah, so that's a three. So you got the highest was a twelve. Twelve. Well, okay. okay, so you, have, you would say on that on uh, bugbears <laughs> would be that big uh, sure to that leave the clawed feet, um, and What's then um, it's a big furry. It's like him. From what you know of hobgoblins, they they don't typically wear. They typically would wear boots and stuff. So. You could say that probably a group of bugbears, hobgoblins, and goblins. and goblins would would have come through oh here. God. That makes sense why goblins. It's beat not up the some dwarves. red hand, I hope. 
not ready for that. You're not ready for the red-handed doom? <laughs> um, What's wrong with the red-handed doom? That They're definitely presents a threat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll go into a thing of, well, usually if it's goblins, they'd be led by something bigger. Hobgoblins are more militaristic. Bugbears are usually very strong, brought in by other tactical things. I'd say it's probably goblinoids of some kind. Large group. That's my flask. <laughs> <laughs> He's smart when he's Why sober. Congratulations on the... I think this is Mark's the first day in how long since you haven't woken up in a gutter, which is, you know, that's big for you, guy. Technically, I was leaned up against the outside of a hut. That's <laughs> that's almost like being inside. I was going to give you a point, but you're cool. right. I'll take it yeah. back. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's point. what we're up against. <laughs> that's what you're up against. I'm sure it's fine. I um, might propose a serious threat to the dwarf survival. Yeah. Yeah. Or yes. ours. Or the whole she, islands. He, he yeah. goes first. Yes. Always. So I um, would agree with that. <laughs> with um, with the remainder of the day, Mike knows how to get there. He's been there before, so he can lead you there safely. When you arrive at um, at Stone Tooth, um, you see that there are dwarven sentries that um, used to be dwarven sentries and are now currently bloated bodies. Uh, being pecked by birds out front, and that's where we'll stop for the day. Bloated oh. <laughs> bodies, eh? Hey. <laughs> All right. So thank you for everybody for tuning into the stream. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will be doing this weekly on Wednesdays. Um, we may. Um, we may switch it up depending on the days. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that. We'll definitely be announcing any changes uh, going forward. Uh, but we appreciate you tuning in for our debut episode. Thank Take you, care. everybody. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thanks, Thanks. everybody. Peace.